All right, Saints and baseball fans, we are getting ready for game number two. Coaches and umpires are at home plate going over the ground rules once again. And I've got the starting lineups for both teams. For the visiting Eagles, Luke Ellis leading things off once again. Uh, this game, Luke is pitching. Joseph Gibson's hitting in the two-hole. He'll be uh, playing third base. Shortstop, Kalen Culpepper is hitting third. Aiden Bowling in right field hitting cleanup. Lucas Dickey, once again, behind the dish, hitting fifth. Weston McAlexander is the designated hitter, hitting sixth. Mason Kaufman is playing this game. Mason's in left field, hitting seventh. Mason McHughes is the first baseman, hitting eighth. And Cooper Bird is playing center field and hitting ninth. Seamus Carrasco is back in at second base. And that is the starting lineup in the second game for the Eagles, for our Saints. Mick Arney, who just won his seventh game on no losses for the spring of 2021 season, is playing shortstop, leading things off. Michael Dallas is at third base, hitting second. Tyler Harrington is on the bump, hitting third. Jonas Sutton, once again behind the dish, hitting cleanup. Trey Bird is at first base and hitting fifth. Eli Smith is back in right field, hitting sixth. Luke Willard will be playing left field. Uh, Tate landed hard on his head, and uh, his neck has tightened up. So Luke's going to head out to left field. He'll be hitting seventh. Drew Atkins is in the lineup, senior, at, at the designated hitter, hitting eighth. And Joshua Russell, the roadrunner, is back in center field, batting ninth and playing center field. Peyton Moore is back at second base, and he'll be playing only defense. And on the bump is... Again, Tyler Harrington. Tyler is 2-0. This is only his fourth start. Tyler has closed out a couple games for us. In 28 innings pitched so far this year, Tyler has given up only 13 hits and 11 walks. His ERA is a tidy .74. That's below one. His whip, walks, hits to inning pitched, is .847. So, like Mick, Tyler throws strikes and a bunch of them. He's second on the team to Mick in first pitch strikes uh, at 68%. So, first batter of the game is Mick Arney. On the bump for the Eagles is Luke Ellis. Luke is a signee for the Ole Miss Rebels. He's a hard-throwing left-hander. His fastball is... 88 to 92. He's got late run on his fastball. He's got a tight, late, sharp breaking curveball and a pretty good change up the boot. So, uh, Saints are going to have their hands full with this talented left hander, Luke Ellis, who we're going to enjoy watching play for Ole Miss Rebels for three or four years. Luke pitched against us the first time we played St. Benedict at our place. We scored a few runs off him. I think with the, the help of his defense, and we were able to chase him uh, before he got out of the fourth inning. So hopefully we can do the same here. First two pitches are fastballs away, taken for balls, 2-0. 3-0, another fastball away. How about a four-pitch walk to lead off this game? Come on. Three balls, no strikes. There it is. I like it. I like what I'm seeing so far. Lead off walk to the Arnie man. Now batting number three, Michael Dallas. Four pitch walk to Arnie that brings up hard hitting Michael Dallas. Michael's going to play his college ball at Kentucky. First pitch swing and fouls it off to the right. Ellis trusts his fastball. It's definitely his go-to pitch. Where he gets in trouble is when he can't find the zone. And if first batter Arnie is any indication, I like where this is going early. Ooh, fastball. Right down the middle. I think Michael thought that was up. Umpire didn't. And that's what matters. No balls, two strikes. Arnie's leading off first base. The Mick has very good wheels. He's stolen 13 bases on the year. Ooh, good swing by Mike. He was sitting on that hook. 
Good swing, just missed it, fouled it straight back. Barely missed that one. Good job on that 0-2. Would have liked it if Mike would have found a gap on there on that 0-2 pitch. Good take. Elevated a fastball up and out. One ball, two strikes. Big, strong, right-handed hitting Michael Dallas. The wind has died down a bit. I'm not seeing the bushes in the outfield uh, waving like in the first. There's a steal, fastball away. I like seeing that from the umpire. We've, we've seen that pitch called a strike throughout the season. That's a ball. I mean, that's, that's totally a ball. I'm looking right at it, but we've had a bunch of umpires who uh, – tend to expand the strike zone for whatever reason. So that takes the count to three balls, two strikes. Mix got a stolen base without a throw. We got a runner in scoring position in the first. Put the hammer down, man. Let's hit him in the nose in the first inning. Get him on their heels. Keep throwing haymakers, baby. Let's put this game away early. Come on, Mike. Good at back, good swing by Mike. He's seen it well. He's had some really good swings. That pitch was too close to take. Good job by Mike to protect. <laughs> Payoff pitch comes again. Three balls, two strikes. Outfield straight away. Good job. That's a good at bat right there. Really good at bat. That's a productive out. Nice job. We didn't do that enough last game. We had. Two separate occasions, we did not get that runner from second to third with no outs. That's a nice job with two strikes by Mike. Now batting number 13, Tyler Harrington. And now here's where our big dog, three, four hitters, got to get this run home. <laughs> Tyler's hitting 300 on the season. He's got 11 doubles. Driven in 19, second on the team in RBIs. Let's see if he can drive in his 20th right here. Oh, kind of a half swing. That was a riding fastball away. No balls, one strike. That's where I like to see him sit on a hook right here and barrel it. Ah, another fastball away. That was off the plate. Come on, Tyler. No balls, two strikes. I will take a spiked breaking ball in the dirt that gets away from the catcher right here any day of the week. We're 90 feet away from the first run of the game. 0-2 pitch. Good job. That's a heck of a – oh, that's going to be a base hit. Good job by Tyler. I know Luke Ellis won – oh, look at Tyler. Look at that base running by Harrington. Beautiful job. He kept on motor and never broke stride. That's a double. How about that? 12th double of the year, drove, uh, drove in his 20th run. Now batting number one, Jonah Sutton. We're going to pinch run. Let's see who that is. If that's Josh, that is Joshua Brown, Jr. Going to be pinch run, and that brings up Jonah Sutton. First pitch, fastball, nice pitch. Ball had a little late tail. Ellis worked that over for a strike. Joan had a hit last game, scored a run. There it is. Get in there. Get in there. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. We're going to have a play at the plate. Here comes the throw. Here comes the throw. It's cut off by the first base, but that's an RBI single. Two runs, Saints. Nice piece of hitting right there by Jonah Sutton. Took a page out of the Tony Perez of the Big Red Machine playbook, pulled his hands in and smoked one in the hole between first and second for an RBI hit. Nice piece of hitting. One out, man on first. Dylan James pinch running. Trey Bird up the bat. First pitch, fastball outside corner. See if the Birdman can drive home a run here. Bird's hitting 338 on the season. Ooh, 
Ooh. That was a good sharp breaking ball. Started at middle, broke in, almost got his right knee. Had so much break on it. Good take by the Bird man. Trey Bird has earned a appointment to the Naval Academy. How about that? Oh, that's a fastball. Dylan was running on the pitch. Uh, bounced off the uh, the brick, came back to Dickey pretty quick. We got a runner in scoring position once again. That was a ball way outside. Two balls, one strike to the Birdman. See if Trey can get his. Another double right here. That's another fastball in, taken for ball three. So already Ellis's pitch count is at 21 in the first. This is what we want. We want to score runs and get his pitch count out and get this rascal out of the game. Fastball way outside. That's ball four. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Trey's really seeing the ball well. He had two uh, walks last game. See if Eli Smith can split a gap right here. Big gap in left center and a lot of room down that right field line. Lefty on lefty here. Fastball up. Keep working the count. Get that pitch count up. Get this talented lefty out of this game. Getting that Eagles bullpen early. One ball, no strikes. The Birdman's leading off first. Fastball misses. Two balls, no strikes. Here's where there's a lefty on a lefty. I'd be looking middle out. And if I don't get it, don't swing at it. But if it's outside, smash that ball in the left center field gap. Oh, good pitch, good take. You certainly don't want to swing at an 0-2 breaking ball. Ellis dropped that right in there for a strike. That's a good take by Eli. Two balls, one strike. Pulled the string on that one. Another nice breaking ball. Eli swung through that one, fooled him a little bit. But he's seen it twice now. Two balls, two strikes. Luke Willard on deck. With Drew Atkins in the hole. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Saints have planted a pair here in the top of the first inning. Good jump. Safe. Good jump by Dylan James. I wish Dylan would let his helmet fall off. He he runs with one arm because he's messing with his helmet. He needs to be like Ricky Henderson and let that helmet fly, man. So that's going to be a, a pass ball. I think Dickey should have caught that ball. So here's where Smitty has got to spread out his stance, bring those hands in, and just play pepper. Just punch it somewhere. Infield's going to be in. Fastball up. I love it. Good at bat by Smitty. Spit on that borderline fastball. They're juiced. Twenty-eight pitches here in the first inning. Luke Willard. Luke's got some juice in his bat. Seven doubles on the year. Luke's driven in ten. If you can get a good fastball to drive right here. I had thought that since we were the higher seed that we were going to be the home team in both of these games, but I was wrong. We are the visitor this game. I guess uh, if it goes a third game, we'll be the home team tomorrow. So I guess two out of three probably is, is the way it works. Here's where with the bases loaded, Luke is in charge right here. Ellis does not want to fall behind 1-0. Man, I'd be thinking dead red fastball, and if I get a heater, I am coming out of my shoes. Let's see if Luke stays aggressive. He's a very aggressive hitter. Let's see if he can barrel one right here, find him a gap, break this game open early. Fastball outside corner, good pitcher's pitch. 0-1. 
That's a good pitch by Ellis. Senior Drew Atkins on deck. That's going to be deep enough to score a run. That's a good piece of hitting by Willard right there. That smart base running. Get back there, Birdman. Good. Excellent job by Willard. You got a pitch that he can drive. Hit at the medium center field. Plenty deep enough to drive home a run. That's a sack fly. RBI. Good at bat. Third run of the inning. And with the shuffling of the lineup with Tate, who uh, landed hard on his head at a collision at first base, uh, tightened up between innings, or between games rather, and uh, he is out for this game. So Drew Atkins is going to get an opportunity. Show Coach what he's got going on. Drew's a big, strong right-handed hitter. First pitch, fastball was taken for a strike. Next pitch, fastball, right on the outside corner. He's painted a pair. Drew's going to have to protect right here. Be aggressive, Drew. I've coached Drew a couple summers, and the boy can hit. He was my four, five, six-hole hitter for a couple summers. That way to protect. That, that pitch was too close to take. Fastball away. Count's going to remain. No balls and two strikes. Trey Bird's leading off second. Earned a walk. Eli Smith's leading off first. He earned a walk. Fastball up and away. Good take by Drew. One ball, two strikes. The umpire is calling some fastballs on the outer half. Drew may have to expand his zone a little bit just to make contact and keep this at bat alive. Fastball, strike three. Come on. Swing that bat, Drew Atkins. So Ellis comes back with a strikeout, but the Saints are able to scratch across three runs. They did so on one hit, no errors. They left two on base. Top half of the first inning, Saints three, Eagles nothing. All right, here we go. Bottom of the first inning. Tyler Harrington on the bump. Tyler's a senior, big, strong right-hander. Tyler sits 85 to 90. He's got a good, hard, late-breaking hook. He's going to be playing his college ball at the University of Memphis. First pitch, fastball, outside corner. Good way to start right there. As I stated earlier, 
Tyler throws 68% first pitch strikes. That is nice, and that allows him to work that hook, that change up he's got, keep the hitters off balance. Luke Ellis leading off. Next pitch is a fastball taken down for ball one. One ball, one strike. Eli Smith shaded towards that right field line. Center left are pretty straight up. Birdman's deep at first. High fly ball, get back. Find that fence, find the fence, find the fence. That's over Willard's head for a double. I thought he was gonna find it. That ball just kept carrying, got up in the jet stream. So we got a lead off double. For Ellis, he hit the ball hard, kept on carrying. The wind had picked up right when he stepped up to the plate. So let's see if uh, Tyler can work out of this and leave him stranded. That brings up third baseman Joseph Gibson. Joseph had two hits last game. Good looking player for the Eagles. Got a man on second. Jonah's going to have a little powwow with Tyler, make sure they have their signals together. Certainly don't want to cross each other up. Right-handed batter Joseph Gibson. He's going to take his uh, right-handed pitching arm to the Christian Brothers University Bucks next year. Next pitch was a hard fastball in on Joseph's hands. Fouled it off into the first base dugout. It's going to even, uh, actually that was the first pitch. No balls, one strike. See if we can leave him stranded out here. Come on, Ty. 0-1 pitch. Good fastball, outer half. Swung through by Gibson. Fouled it straight back. No balls, two strikes. To the right-handed hitting Joseph Gibson. We're in the bottom of the first. Saints plated three in the top. That's a great pitch. Sawed him off, that's in the infield. Mix got it underneath. Great job, Tyler Harrington. I love that pitch. That's a hard fastball right in on his hands. If he'd have been uh, carrying a wooden bat, he'd be running to first base with a nub. That was a good hard fastball. That's an F6 if you're scoring at home, one out. Ellis has got to stay at second base. And that brings up the dangerous Kalen Culpepper. Kalen had a homer last game. Also had a bases loaded walk and an RBI single. Two for two. Drove in three of the four runs the Eagles scored. Kalen has turned his game up uh, about three notches come postseason play. He homered against us in the first game in the districts. He homered twice against MUS in their clinching game. And uh, he is showing how just how talented he is. He's just a good looking player. First pitch, breaking ball right in there for a strike. Kalen didn't like it. We did. No balls and a strike. So we got to get, let me make a play right here for Tyler. Good pitch. I like where he's going with it. That was a little two in. Don't want to let Culpepper get his arms extended. He's a strong right handed hitter. Surprised Eli Smith is so far over towards the right field line. He's got a huge gap in right center field. I mean, he, he sprays the ball around the field. He's not a dead pull guy by any means, but pretty good uh, switch. There you go. Nice job. Fouls it off right at home plate for strike two. Good pitch right there. I think he got him right on his doggy. One ball, two strikes, man on second. Lead off man Ellis hit a double that made its way over Willard's head and left. Jonah, Mick, and Tyler meet on the mound. I'm sure they're telling each other how good they look in their uniforms tonight. 
figuring out where they want to eat after the ball game. Probably Zaxby's. They love going to Zaxby's. Hey, one ball, two strikes, one out. Bottom of the first. Saints up three zip. We took game one, 10-4. Little wind blowing from center to left. Big right-handed hitter, Kalen Culpepper up. Jonas set up outside. Popped him up. Heck of a job right there. Mix got it. All the way. Calls off left fielder and center fielder. That's a big out. We're not out of the woods yet. Heck of a job by Tyler. It'd be a huge momentum boost to leave that leadoff double sitting on second base. That brings up the right fielder, Aiden Bowling. Aiden was 0 for 2 in game one. He did have a RBI suicide squeeze. First pitch swinging, fastball outside corner, good location by Ty. Tyler threw a complete game, nine inning, unbelievable effort in our clinching game against Christian Brothers to win the district. He was money. He threw 106 pitches in nine innings. He was pumping it. Bowed his neck several innings, getting big outs. Elevated a fastball right there. Bowling took that one for ball one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Bottom of the first. I'm going to make a play here. Saints. We got Dallas at third, we got Arnie at short, we got Peyton Moore at second, we got the Birdman over there tracking ball down at first in the infield. He's stealing. Oh, nice play by Michael. So the, Ellis just stole the bag. Jonah came out of the chute strong. He threw it to the, uh, the foul side of the bag, so Michael had to reach, grab it, and then bring that back. Pitch was a strike, so we're a pitch away from finishing this inning. It's going to be a stolen base for Ellis. One ball, two strikes on the right fielder, Aiden Bowling. Finish this inning, Ty. Make a play, Saints. One ball, two strikes. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Got him. Now he's out. Nice job, Jonas Sutton. That's something that does not show up in the, in the scorebook. That's a nasty breaking ball way outside. Jonah shifted his feet, blocked it, did not let that ball get to the fence. And we see that in high school probably eight out of ten times. That ball's to the backstop, and they scored a run. And that's why the Saints are different. We got some serious players. Jonah Sutton is a heck of a defensive catcher and just saved a run right there. No runs, one hit, no errors, one man left on base through one inning. Saints three, Eagles zero. Here we go. Great job by Tyler Harrington. That is a huge momentum boost to leave that leadoff double stranded at second base. And our leadoff man is Joshua Russell. Probably on 95% uh, of other teams across the city, Josh would be their leadoff man. He can hit, he can run, and uh, Coach Hop does a nice job of uh, turning the lineup over and uh, 
purposefully having Josh down there. Certainly not the ninth best hitter on the team. Uh, he's sitting over 300 on the year, but he's leading off this inning. First pitch was a fastball in. Second pitch was a fastball out. I'd like to see a fastball right down the middle and Josh rifle one into the gap. And Let's watch the road runner run. There it is. That's a base hit in the hole. Oh, I love this. We're about to see Josh Russell run. Here we go. Josh leading the team in steals with 18. Leading the team in runs. With 27. And a 400 hitting Mick Arney up the bat. Mick hit the ball hard three times. First pitch fastball right down the middle. Mick took that one. Would not be surprised if Mick pushed a bunt right here with Josh running. Try to take advantage of the defense moving. Mick really handles the bat. Good job. We, we had a lot of success first game running, stealing on the Eagles with the catcher throwing. So we don't want to go first movement. I like our success, rather, making sure Ellis goes home. With a lot of left-handers, you decide to go first movement, especially if you have a first baseman who may be a marginal thrower. You get a really big lead, and you're just going first movement. But, oop, there you go. He squared the bunt, pulled it back. That was a hard slider in. One ball, one strike. Coach Hop has been a very aggressive third base coach all year. I've loved everything that he's done. And there's Mick. Oh, wow. What a bunt. No way. He's safe. And there's no one at third base. And there's Josh Russell. How about that? <laughs> That's the pressure baseball the Saints have played all year. That has been a joy to watch. They get defenses on their heels, and they just don't know what to do. So that is a perfectly placed sacrifice bunt that ends up being a hit. Third base is occupied. Josh alertly sees it. Never breaks stride. First and third. No outs. Saints continue to put pressure on the Eagles. The big bat of Michael Dallas up the bat. Michael had a very productive 4-3 uh, out, advancing the runner from second to third and allowed that first run to score. Ooh, Michael. Good fastball right on the knees. Michael took that one. Michael and Luke have been teammates several summers playing for the Tigers. So Michael knows him well. Played behind him for years. No balls, one strike. There it is. There it is. There it is. That's an RBI ground out by Mike. Good job, RBI. Run scores. Second run of the inning. Saints extend their lead to five zip. Russell comes over and scores, brings up Tyler Harrington. Now batting, number 13, Tyler Harrington. First run in the inning, that's right. I was correct. I was getting ahead of myself. We're about to score a second run, but Josh scored on that one. So uh, Saints have planted one here in the top of the second. We got one out, Michael Dallas leading off first, and Tyler Harrington up the bat. Tyler had a two-strike double. Drive home Mick in back in the first inning. Hard ground ball to shortstop, never broke stride. Saw that the outfielder was playing deep. And kept on running all the way into second base. So it was a hustle double. That fastball get in on Tyler's hands fooled him a bit. Kind of a half swing. So Mike was out. Six to four for the first out of the inning. Mick was, rather. I missed that pitch. I looked down. Was that a breaking ball? He swung through it or called it. Swung through a breaking ball. So we got one ball, two strikes. One out. Get up that middle. Get up the middle. Get up the middle. Oh, right through the wickets. Stay right there. The ball did not come up on Culpepper. He got there, and I think he was expecting a little bit of a hop. It took a dead one, didn't hop at all, and uh, 
A little space between the glove and the dirt. That snuck under. That's going to be an E6. And the con inning continues. we got to take advantage of these. Gifts. So that's an E6. Joshua Brown is going to run for Tyler. Michael Dallas is leading off second base. Reached on a RBI fielder's choice, and that brings up Jonas Sutton, who had a beautiful RBI hit to the opposite field back in the first inning. There it is. Getting that gap, baby. Getting that gap, baby. Getting that gap. Yeah, it's over his head. That's going to be two bases. Josh has got to hold up. Oh, there we go. It's going to be an RBI double. For Jonah Sutton, he barreled that ball. It kept carrying and carrying. I did not think the right fielder bowling was going to track it down, and he did not. So we got one out, second and third. Trey Bird up the bat. Another run in. That was the second run that I was referring to earlier. So Michael scores. Joshua Brown goes all the way to third. Dylan James is going to run for Jonah at second. Trey Bird's up the bat. Good, good breaking ball in there. He started at middle, snapped late, down and in, taken for strike one. One out, second and third, infield's in. Fastball way outside. 1-1. One, one. Here's where the Birdman's got to get a ball he can handle and get it out of the infield. Another one in. That was a breaking ball. Took a little more off that one. A little slower. Some late sharp break, but way inside. Good take by Trey right there. Third baseman is in on the grass. Fastball outside corner. Good pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Here's where Trey's got to expand the zone. He's got to put this ball in play with two strikes with the runners in scoring position. Fastball up and away. Good take right there. Just off. Three balls, two strikes. Payoff pitch coming. Dylan James leading off second. Joshua Brown leading off third. 3-2 pitch. Got him. Inside fastball just off the plate. Just missed. Good take by the bird man. Here comes Smitty. Eli walked back in the first. Eli had a single and two RBIs in the first game, drove in the first two runs of the game. First pitch fastball outside corner. Eli took that one for a strike. See if Eli can put the ball in play right here. No balls, one strike. Eli walked his last at bat. Breaking ball, pulled the string. Was down low. Ellis is getting a little bit frustrated with the strike zone right here. 1-1 one, one pitch coming. Change up outside. Ball two. Two balls. One strike. See if Eli can barrel one right here. Ooh. Little chin music. Three balls. One strike. Base is juice. Nowhere to put him. Here comes a good pitch to hit. Get ready to rake, Eli Smith. Fastball, walked in a run. RBI, walk for Eli Smith. Ellis is up to almost 60 pitches, 59 pitches here in two innings. Luke Willard up. First pitch fastball down in the dirt. Good job by Dickey to block it. Luke had an RBI sacrifice fly. Center field. Back in the first inning. Hit the ball well. 
See if Luke can hit his eighth double, clear the bases right here. Eli runs really well at first base. Another one. Ball almost got by Dickey there. The Eagles have a right-hander warming up in the pin. Six nothing, Saints. Fastball way outside, missed again. Three and zero. Senior DH Drew Atkins on deck. Fastball up, walks in his second run. Coach has probably seen enough. Probably going to give him one more up. There he goes. Going to have a pitching change here, I believe. That was a four-pitch RBI walk to Luke Willard. That brings up Drew Atkins. Score is now 7-0. We're in the top of the second inning. We've got one out. Big, strong right-handed hitter, Drew Atkins up the bat. See if Drew can pick out one to drive right here. I haven't seen Ellis throw too many balls inside. I'd be sitting middle out. Expect the pitch, and if you get it, rifle it in that right center field gap. Guess location right here. One out. Middle's going to be in double play depth. Corners are going to be in. Coach Hop's probably going to have the contact play on. Going to make the defenders catch it. Throw it, make that catcher catch and put down a tag. First pitch to Drew Atkins. Love to see him get, a, get aggressive right here. Struck out looking. There it is. Came out swinging right there. First pitch, fastball. Drew fouled that ball back. Fastball up and away. Ball one. One ball, one strike. A lot of balls up and away. Breaking ball, pulled the string, nice pitch. One ball, two strikes to Atkins. Got to protect here, put this ball in play. Fastball outside, good take right there. That ball's out. We got a beautiful view of the outer half of the strike zone. That ball's a good six, eight inches outside. 2-2. Two -two. There it is. That's a hit. That's going to be a double. That's going to score at least two. Come on, Luke Willard. Score him, baby. That's going to clear the bases. How about it? Great job, Drew Atkins. He got another breaking ball and smoked it down the left field line. The left fielder bird was way in the gap. That ball made its way all the way to the fence, and that cleared the bases. Big hit for senior Drew Atkins. Break this game open. I love it. Ten to nothing. Now batting number 21, Josh Russell. Big hit by Drew. I love to see it. Tate has uh, Drew has been uh, one of Tate's best friends since the time they were uh, they went to Dogwood together. I think at the age of four, we have pictures of them getting on the school bus, picking them up at our, our house when they were just itty bitty. Uh, so Drew is a fixture at our house. Love his parents, Trisha and Barry, and that is great to see for that big strapping right hander. Smoke that ball down the left field line, clear the bases. Fantastic job by Drew. That's going to be it for Ellis. We got a right-hander in. <laughs> Going 
Got to keep it going. Richard and I got a boat. We got a t pontoon boat together, and, and we keep it up at his lake place in Pickwick. So I will. I think it's uh, 15 after three, 10 after five. Josh Russell, who led this inning off with a base hit, is up for the second time here in the second inning with one out. Man on second base is Drew Atkins, just cleared the bases with the ringing double down the left field line. Let's see if Josh can get two hits in an inning. That's always cool. Whoa, first pitch fastball way up. We believe the new pitcher for St. Benedict is Alex Twig. I do not have their roster. Sorry if it's not. Right-hander, first pitch fastball was up, taken for ball one by Josh. Next pitch, fastball, swung through it. Got a piece of it. It's going to even the count, one ball and one strike. Here's where the Saints can't slow down. they got to keep the pedal to the metal and finish. One ball, one strike, one out. Junior center fielder Josh Russell up the bat. Got a breaking ball. And that's going to drop for a hit. That's in there. Josh was thinking about scampering to second base. Smartly thought otherwise. Culpepper ended up with it. That ball hung up there for a while. And the center fielder couldn't track it down. That's going to be hit number two here in the second inning for Josh Russell, and that takes us back to the top of the lineup with Mick Arney. Mick Arney. <laughs> so Drew's able to advance to third on the hit. Josh is at first base. He'll be stealing pretty quick here. First pitch was a breaking ball down. Josh got a great jump, read it in the dirt. Scampers a second. Second and third, one out. Mix hitting a cool 500 with runners in scoring position this year. Came into the game hitting 408 overall, leading the team in hits, RBIs. 13 stolen bases, 7-0 pitcher. Tell me that's not a senior year to remember forever. Next pitch, fastball up. Two balls, no strikes. You think about most valuable player uh, for the Saints, his name is Mick Arney. He's done it all, all season. Two balls, no strikes. Three balls, no strikes. This young man Twig needs a, uh, a smaller hat. Every pitch his, his uh, ball cap comes off. He's got a big old mop like all these kids have, big old mop of hair. 3-0 to Arney. Fastball, four-pitch walk, and that brings up Michael Dallas, who is long overdue for a hard gapper. Now batting number three, Michael Dallas. So we got the bases loaded. We got Drew Atkins clear the bases with the double. He's on third base. Josh Russell had a uh, fortuitous blooper single. He's leading off second base, and Mick Arney just earned a walk. He's off first. Michael Dallas at the bat, third baseman tonight. Played short first game. Played a nice shortstop first game, too. First pitch fastball up. Taken for ball one. This one Mike just has to slow his heart rate and think gap to gap right here. Mike's been one of the premier hitters in the Mid-South for years. He can flat out bang it. 
fastball away. Two balls, no strikes. Slow that heart rate, Mike. Just get a ball you can barrel right here. With one out, I'm surprised the infield's not double played that. They're, they're back like normal. I don't see how they can turn a double play with where they're at. But, hey, great. 3-0. I bet Coach Hop gives them the green light right here. Grip it and rip it, dog. Let's go. Outfield's deep all the way across. They're playing them straight up. All of them are a few steps back. There it is. He's swinging 3-0, fouls it off down the left field line. Got a good pitch. He was on it. I like seeing that. we got to get Michael really untracked. If the Saints offense is going to be hitting on all cylinders, uh, we got to hit get Michael uh, hitting the way he's capable of hitting. He was really starting to turn it on when he pulled his hamstring, and he missed about 15 games right after he uh, got hot. So I think his timing is going to be great here. There it is. Oh, wow. And he throws it away. Eagles are falling apart a little bit here. So six to four to three. Mix out on the force out. Culpepper to Carrasco. Carrasco caught it, dropped it, picked it up, and threw errantly to first. We score another run. Now batting, number 13. Another two runs, actually. Coach is going to come out and talk. Mick slid. I don't know what they may be talking about. Mick slid right into second base. So it wasn't like he uh, obstructed Carrasco by any means. Two-run score on the throwing error by Carrasco. But Drew scores. And Josh. Josh scored as well. Yep. Yep. So the score's now 12 to nothing. We're in the top of the second inning. The Saints have played at nine. Tyler Harrington up the bat with two outs. First pitch fastball up and away taken for ball one. one zero -oh pitch coming. Ooh, good pitch. He was thinking downtown Charlie Brown, Brown on that swing. He swung through it. Tyler's got 11 doubles on the season. He's got a triple. Driven in 19. Actually, he's got 20 now. In his first at-bat this game, he had an RBI double. Just missed a breaking ball right there. One ball, two strikes. That's where the Saints have got to continue the concentration and do not hold back. They want to finish this game, keep on having good at bats. Finish. We got Michael Dallas leading off first. Two outs, nine runs in here in the top of the second. Fastball, or breaking ball rather. Tyler took that ball up. Catcher Dickey fired to first. Dallas back in there safely. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, 12 nothing Saints. That's a ball in the hole, good piece of hit, and just kept his hands back, got out on his front foot. But, but if you keep your hands back, you're still in position to barrel a ball. That's a two-out hit for Tyler. Second hit of the game. And the inning continues. Now batting number one, Jonah Sutton. Michael advances a second. Talking to Culpepper, not quite sure what happened there. The Campbell Clinic trainer is out talking to him. He fouled the ball off his foot earlier. Ah, something with his mouth. I don't know if a ball hit him earlier in the game and I missed it or what, but uh, looks like they're they're checking out his uh, his jaw or his mouth or something. Oh. It's 
15 after 3, 10 after 5. Looks like Culpepper's okay. And the inning will continue. Jonah's had a good start to this game. RBI hit in the first. RBI double in the second. He's gone the opposite way twice. And that's what Jonah wasn't doing earlier this season. He was uh, he lost his lower half too often on outside pitches and uh, was just kind of flicking it with all arms. And he's made adjustments. Jonah also hits with Jeff Duncan, one of the premier hitting instructors around here in Memphis. He grew up uh, one of the greatest hitters ever to come out of Memphis. That boy could flat out bang it. He's a really good hitting coach. So Jonah can, had continued to work with Coach Dunk made some adjustments, and obviously they are uh, paying dividends. Two balls, no strikes. Senior catcher, Jonas Sutton. Got a ball in the field from the bullpen. Two balls, no strikes. Jonas got eight doubles, second on the team. Nine now with his double back in the second inning. 3-0. Coach Hop probably not going to be going three uh, green light now, up by 12. Probably going to pull the reins back a little bit, at least on a 3-0. Yeah. Fastball outside corner. Three balls and a strike. Pitcher Twig needs to see if uh, one of the moms in the stands has got a safety pin. Help him keep his ball cap on. 3-1. Comes a pitch to Sutton. Got him. Ooh. I th thought that hit him. Called him. A, called it a strike. Three balls, two strikes. Runners are going to be moving on the pitch. We got two outs. Three and two. Get off that bag, Michael Dallas. Come on. 3-2 pitch. That, that one got him. 3-2 breaking ball in. Jonah took that right off the hip. It's going to continue the inning, hit by pitch. Dallas moved to third. Now batting, number five, Trey Bird. Tell you what, our pinch runners, jo uh, Joshua Brown, and Dylan James have been kept very busy. They're going to sleep well tonight. They've been on the bag a bunch because Mick, Tyler, and Jonah have consistently been on the bases. we got two outs. Trey Bird up the bat. First pitch, fastball. Taken for a strike. 338 hitting Trey Bird. Heading to the Naval Academy. Fastball, taken for a ball, low and away. One ball, one strike, two outs, top of the second. Saints have planted nine this inning. Extended the lead to 12-0. Inning is not over. Ooh, good job by Dickey right there. That was a fastball spiked in front of home plate. Dickey squared it up. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Trey Bird. Three balls, one strike. Nowhere to put him, Mr. Twig. Stay aggressive, Trey Bird. Pick out a fastball you can drive right here, buddy. Trey's had a really nice senior year. Hit the ball very well. Fastball up, ball four. Tenth run of the inning. Here comes the coach of St. Benedict, going to make a pitching change. I think it's going to be uh, Mason McHughes. It looks like a big lefty is going to be coming in. That's going to close the book on – well, it's not going to close the book on Twig. The three runners on the bases are his. It's another RBI for Trey. 
Dallas comes in to score on that walk. And it is. Uh, first, uh, big lefty Mason McHughes is going to come in. And he's going to face the left-handed hitting Eli Smith. Eli walked back in the first, was left stranded, and had a bases loaded walk in the second. So he's 0 for 0 on the day. Did have a run scoring two run single in game number one that the Saints won 10 to 4. Actually, this is a right hander. I, I thought I thought McHughes was a uh, he bats left, obviously throws right. So right hander McHughes now in. Thirteen to nothing. I'm not. I forget what the run rule is in high school. I think it's fifteen after three and ten after five. I could be wrong though. Irregardless, Tyler Harrington needs to get back out there and pump strikes. We need to catch the baseball. We need to finish this ball game. What's really going to benefit the Saints? if we're able to finish this game out and head to state, is the depth of our pitching staff. That's really the separator in high school baseball. And the Saints are seven deep in arms that are high-quality arms, young men that good velocity around the plate, know how to pitch, and that's really been a separator for us throughout this season. One of our starters falters, which really hadn't happened all that often this season. We're able to come back and throw some quality arms at you. And that's what we did against Baylor, uh, beating the top-ranked Baylor team in Chattanooga at their place. Our pitching depth showed out, and uh, we were able to win a, a tough game at their place. So we're back at it. McHughes is in for the Eagles. Senior CBU-bound Eli Smith up the bat. What you waiting on, Eli Smith? That's the second middle fastball I've seen you take this uh, ball game, son. Come on. Eli spends a lot of time at the gentleman household. I'm going to have to talk to him about his, uh, his taking shots right down the middle. There it is. Get down, ball. Get down, ball. Get down, ball. Get down, ball. That ball's going to fall. That's going to drive home a pair. Here comes a throw to third base in safely. Eli Smith runs in to second base on the throw to third. Two more runs in. That makes the score 15 to 0. Two run single. Luke Willard. For Eli, that is the fifth run that he has driven in today. Productive at bats by Eli Smith. And that brings home Luke Willard. Luke had a sacrifice fly with an RBI in the first. And earlier this inning, he had a base loaded walk for another RBI, driven in two today. First pitch fastball, Luke takes it for ball one up. Trey Bird's able to advance all the way to third base on that hit with two outs. He was going hard. The ball stayed up in the air a pretty good while. Fastball up, good take by Luke. Two balls, no strikes. Saints have played a 12 runs here in the second inning. <laughs> Breaking ball. Taken for ball three, 3-0. Three -oh. Probably see a take right here. Three-0 -oh pitch. McHughes to Willard. Ball way outside, ball four. And they're loaded again. Let's see if Drew can clear the bases again. How about a, how about a six RBI inning? How about that? So earlier this inning, Drew took a one-two breaking ball and rifled it down the left field line for a bases clearing double. So he's already driven in three this inning. First pitch fastball, took that one for a strike. 
Outside corner, nice pitch by McHugh's right there. No balls, one strike. Willard, Smith, and Bird on the bags for the Saints. They're juiced. Good swing by Drew, fouls it off to the right. No balls, two strikes. <laughs> Similar position as last at bat. I think Drew had a quick two strikes on him. Ended up getting that one-two pitch he liked. 0-2 pitch coming. That ball gets to the backstop. That hit him. No matter what, he was going to score. So that was an 0-2 breaking ball. Drew does a nice job of just locking his feet in on a pitch inside. And that's an RBI hit by pitch, and that brings up Joshua Russell, who was about to hit for the third time this inning. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that in all the, the ball that I've played and watched. I don't think I've ever seen a fella hit three times in one inning. This, this is something. First pitch, fastball up. Fastball away, ball two. Josh is a special player. He is a uh, superb defender in center field. Just a, a real game changer. He, the way he tracks down balls in the outfield is just, uh, you know, our, our pitching staff is excellent, and they are aided greatly by having a gold glover like Josh who tracks down everything in center field. He's only a junior. He's got another year of high school ball. He, he's going to probably bat lead off and be in the center of everything the Saints do next year. He swung through a high fastball, two balls and one strike. Swung through another fastball, 2-2. That was good location on that pitch by McHugh's outside corner. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Fastball way up. Good job by Dickey corralling that one before it got to the backstop. Coach Hops probably got the stop sign on. We're probably not going to run even if it gets to the backstop right here. I know he's got a lot of respect for the Eagles coaches. Don't want to rub anything in. Eagles having a tough one. Been there. Fastball outside, ball four, walks in another run. So Eli Smith trots in. And that brings up Mick Arney. Mick's about to hit for the third time. Mick has grounded to shortstop twice. Field, uh, grounded into uh, fielder's choices in, uh, in his two at-bats this inning. He walked, scored, stole a base back in the first. Fastball taken for ball two. Good job. I'm very impressed by our Saints hitters continuing to concentrate, spitting on balls just out of the zone. That's what you got to do, man. On games like this, you got to continue to bear down and act like it's a tie score. Continue to work. There's a fastball. Taken for strike one inside corner. Two balls, one strike to all-star senior Mick Arney. Going to take his excellent game to Southwest Tennessee Community College. Play his college baseball for one or two years. Some smart coach is going to scoop him up and put him on their roster. Three balls, one strike. That three, uh, two, one pitch was down. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. That was uh, behind Mick, and it hit his bat. Hey, earlier this year, the University of Memphis was playing Tulane, and that same thing happened, except it was a perfectly placed sacrifice bunt. It was a ball over the hitter's head. He could not get his bat down. It bounced into fair territory, and it was a perfect bunt. 3-2. They're running. <coughs> that one almost hit him. Another fastball in, and we'll start it over. Runners are going to be moving on the pitch. It's three balls, two strikes. <coughs> 
3-2 pitch. Two outs. Good swing by Mick to stay alive. That was a good pitch by McHughes. That was outside fastball. Definitely too close to take. Count remains three balls and two strikes. <laughs> Payoff pitch coming. Runners are running. And that hit him. There it is. RBI hit by pitch. So Drew advances to third on the hit by pitch. Joshua Russell is on second. Mick Arney is on first. And here comes Michael Dallas. Michael's hit the ball, put the ball in play three times. He's got nothing to show for it. He's been productive. He advanced a runner from second to third with the ground out to second in the first. And he's uh, grounded to shortstop twice and scored twice. Fastball inside corner, called strike two. No balls, two strikes. Arnie's leading off first, Russell's off second, Atkins off first, or third rather. Michael swinging with 0-2, fouls it off to the right, good job. Again, too close to take. Fifteen runs, second inning for the Saints. You know, this is where I wouldn't be surprised if Tyler doesn't even make his way back out there. He has uh, sat for a long time and just, nope, nope. What you don't want is uh, for him to tighten up and come back out there and hurt himself. We have got a lot of depth, and I wouldn't be surprised if Coach Hop allows one of our uh, talented junior left-handers to come out and, and pitch a little bit here. Jack Newman has been filthy all season, as has Matthew Dallas, big left-hander. Threw a no-hitter no against St. Benedict earlier this year. Good swing by Mike. He is protecting the plate, continues to swing the stick. Count remains, no balls and two strikes. This is akin to a rain delay, you know, having an inning that lasts this long. And a lot of times you see that. It's just hard for a pitcher to stay loose when you sit for this long. So I'll be anxious to see what Coach Hop decides to do. we got a lot of kids who just come in and just pound the zone with strikes. So he's got a lot of options to finish this game out. No balls, two strikes. Senior third baseman, Michael Dallas. Skies that one down the right field line. You better run, Mike. That ball's just foul. New life. Mike continues to dial it in. He's taking some good swings. I've watched Michael play the last mm, probably eight years. Uh, Michael played for the, uh, the other... Tigers team. I, I had one. Uh, Jason McCommon had the other one. Michael played with Jason, and they hit with us quite often. And then I, we would see him at the same same tournaments. Dad Gummit, that hit him. Mm. Let's hope he's okay. Another hit by pitch. Doggone it. But Michael uh, is uh, he's a quintessential three-hole hitter. Sprays line drives all over the place. He's got big boy power, barrels the ball, short, quick swing. And we need him going. Tyler Harrington. So that's another hit by pitch. Drew Atkins scores. Joshua moves to third. Mick goes to second. Michael's now on first, and that brings in And third baseman uh, Joseph Gibson is going to come in. Uh, Joseph is the number two pitcher 
for St. Benedict. Uh, they usually come with Luke and Josh. Uh, I mean, uh, Joseph uh, has really had a nice senior season. I've picked up jo uh, Joseph a few different tournaments the last several summers, and he is a fantastic kid. His, his dad, Lee, is just a great guy. And uh, Joseph has gone from a kid that was probably 5'7", 140 pounds, to probably six foot. It looks like he's probably 170, 175 pounds, and he's going to continue to get bigger. You can tell his lower body has just completely changed. He has really dedicated himself in the uh, in the weight room. His velocity has really picked up. He's got a nice breaking ball, just a good-looking high school pitcher. And great news, uh, Lee texted me uh, two nights ago and Joseph has accepted a scholarship offer to pitch at Christian Brothers University. So I'm going to be able to watch Joseph pitch when I go watch my boy Tate and Eli Smith play for the Bucks the next four years. So Joseph Gibson now in, right-hander. And let's see if Tyler can do something here. So the Saints have plated 16 runs here in the top of the second inning. And first pitch, Tyler skies it into the infield. Let's hope they catch the ball right here. And they do for the third out. So a long inning. The Saints score, yes, that's right, 16 runs in the top of the six. Through one and a half innings, the Saints, 19, Eagles, zero. Bottom of the second inning. First pitch, ground ball right back to the pitcher. Tyler's going to tag him for one out. One unassisted on the put out. One pitch, one out. Tyler is out for his second inning of work. He'll continue to pound the zone. Very aggressive pitcher. Batting number eight, Weston McAlexander. With very good control. That brings up the DH, Weston McAlexander. Weston had a nice game in game one. He had two hits couple singles. First pitch taken for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Senior designated hitter, Weston McAlexander. 
Good fastball by Tyler, outer half. Swung and uh, fouled it off, straight back. Looked like had a little late cut to it. Tyler's balls have a lot of movement. I think he really enjoys throwing that, that two-seamer. Same pitch, same result. Good swing by McAlexander, fouled it straight back. One ball and two strikes. I have so enjoyed uh, watching Coach Harrison call the pitches for the Saints. He really uh, enjoys the inside fastball, and that sets up so many pitches for our, our pitchers. Oop, spiked one there. Two balls, two strikes. That ball was in the dirt. Good take by McAlexander. But Coach Harrison is a veteran coach. Coach Hopkins totally trusts him to take the pitching staff, and the Saints have one heck of a pitching staff. Just up, good location. That was a good hard inside fastball. Must have been elevated a little bit. Saints have a team ERA of 1.92. How about that? Ball four. 1.92 ERA with a whip of just barely over one, 1.02. And that is a testament to our lack of walks. We've only walked 89 guys in 218 innings, and we've struck out 257. That's a fantastic ratio at any level, especially high school. And that goes back to what I was talking about. We are deep with pitchers who come in and fill up the zone. So we got one out, comes right after him with the hard fastball upper edge of the zone. Mason Kaufman, the left fielder, fouled that ball back. McAlexander leads off first. Breaking ball. That's where Tyler's really got to keep his concentration here. You, know, you got a 19-run lead. It's very easy to, to float off, but Tyler's a mentally tough kid. Awesome basketball player. Fastball right in there. Good pitch. Tyler's going to play for me this summer. Can't wait to coach him. He has got a tremendous personality. He is a hoot. Quick wit to him. I'm going to look forward to watching him play from the top step of the dugout. One ball, two strikes, breaking ball, strike three, beautiful pitch. Good late bite. Started that pitch middle of the plate, broke away. Looked like uh, it fooled Kaufman. Strike, uh, strike out and out number two. Mason. Two outs, and that brings up Mason McHughes, first baseman. Fastball right in there for a strike. Here we go. Good job, Ty. Tyler's refocused, found that zone, attacking it. Oh, nice job by Jonah right there. That was a spike ball in the dirt. He one-handed it. It looked like a Yadier Molina catching that ball. I've seen Jonah do that and quickly pivot his feet and throw a strike to first base to pick a runner off several times this year, which is stuff that, you know, veteran catchers do. And uh, as we had talked about in earlier broadcast, Jonah hadn't really caught on a full-time basis, I don't think ever. He, he's such a good infielder. But it's been a long time since he's caught. And some of the things that he's done defensively are just so innate of just a, a great catcher. It's, a, it's been amazing to watch. Nice pitch. Tyler took something off that ball. McHugh's topped it. Yeah, this is not, not McHugh's. This is number nine. I'm not quite sure who this is. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Runner on first. Fastball, strike three. Nice job by Tyler right there coming back in. Good job right there. That's what we needed, just a whole bunch of strikes. Let that defense catch some balls. No runs, no hits, no errors. One man left on base. 
And we come into the top of the third inning. I think I think they're going to call it. No, they aren't. They're not. We're going to go back there and hit. It, usually, at least during the summertime, it's 15 after 3 is the run rule. I'm not sure if that's the way it is in high school. And here's what I like to see. Coach Hop's going to allow Austin Yabro, senior catcher, to bat. Allow him to get an A-B. Nice job, Hop. Hop's done a really nice job of doing that throughout the season as well. He's very conscious of these seniors that may not be everyday players, but they've been putting in the time at practice. And he makes sure that these guys get at bats when the opportunity arises. So senior catcher Austin Yabro is going to come in and, and get a net bat here. Joseph Gibson's back out. He uh, came in and faced Tyler Harrington last inning and got the third out. So here we go, top of the third inning. We're going to have a pinch hitter, big, strong, right-handed hitting Austin Yarbro is going to come up and pinch hit for Jonas Sutton. Good to see. Looks like Jack Newman, junior left-handed hitter, is going to be on deck. Jack's going to bat for Trey Bird. Good to see Coach Hop. I have been so impressed by the entire Briarcrest coaching staff this whole year. Just uh, quality men, not only teaching our Saints players how to improve their game on the diamond, but they are quality men that are mentoring our players to become better human beings. So Austin Yarbrough is going to lead things off. First pitch, fastball, taken for ball one outside. Next pitch by Gibson. Fastball down. Two balls, no strikes. See if Austin can barrel one right here. Two balls, no strikes. Saints leading 19 nothing. Yep, that's right. You heard it right. 19 to nothing. We're in the top of the third inning. We had a 16 run second inning. 2 uh, 2 1 pitch. 3-1, fastball away. Fastball inside corner. Austin took a hack at it, fouled it off at home plate. It's going to take the count, three balls and two strikes. Three two count. Joseph Gibson on the bump for St. Benedict. Do you have a brother score? Game two. So ball four for Yarbro. Earns the walk. Lead off the inning. Now batting number twenty five, Jack Newman. So we've got a score update for other teams from the Mid-South that are playing in the regions. And Christian Brothers took two on the chin against Brentwood. They lost the first game 8-5. to five. And the second game, I believe the final score was 7-4. to four. 
So the brothers' spring 2021 season had ended. They'll come on home. First pitch swing and Jack Newman, junior left-handed hitter, came in swinging and fouled it off for strike one. Jack is one for four on the year. Jack is a superb left-handed pitcher who is going to anchor the Saints staff next year. Fastball, strike two inside corner. On the bump, Jack Newman in 22.1 innings pitched allowed two earned runs. Two earned runs in 22 innings, and he was as filthy as that sounds. Very impressive young Young pitcher. He got him a breaking ball right there. Swung through it for strike three. So we got one out. And that brings up Eli Smith. Now batting number six, Eli Smith. Eli walked in the first. Had an RBI walk in the second and had a two-run single in the second as well. So drove in three runs in that 16-run second inning. Also had a two-run single back in the first game. Continues to be a productive hitter for Coach Hop. Fastball right in there. When Eli comes over here in the next couple days, his summer coach is going to bark at him a little bit for uh, the number of fastballs that he's taken. We've got to get him continuing to be aggressive. Breaking ball away. Started it way out. Stayed out. One ball, two strikes. Let's see Eli be aggressive right here. I want these hitters thinking the only decision they make is not to swing. They are hacking at that ball's in the zone. Good piece of hitting right there. Gibson kind of dropped down a little three quarters on that fastball, tried to get in on Eli's hands. Eli was able to fight that off. These guys are going to be teammates next year at CBU, their first year of college. Joseph Gibson on the bump, Eli Smith at the dish. No balls, two strikes, one out. Look at that, look at that. Good piece of hitting right there. Eli pulls his hands in, smacks that ball. Didn't hit it particularly hard, but it was perfectly placed over the first baseman Ellis' head, and he's got his second hit of the game. We got a man on first and third. And now batting number 31, Dylan. Dylan James up the bat. Dylan's been busy running. He was the pinch runner for our pitcher. First two, uh, first start of the games and he'll get his first at bat so Dylan James is going to hit for Luke Dylan's got a hit on the year oh little topper in front of home plate he's going to have to make a good play good play by Gibson good athlete right there bounced off that mound threw a strike to first for the second out so Dylan was swinging first pitch grounds one to three for the second out That's going to take uh, Dylan James's batting average down to 500. He was one for one on the year. Now he's one for two. Drew Atkins had a bases clearing double back in the second inning. Also had an RBI hit by pitch. Driven in four runs this game. Good swing by Drew. Even the count, one ball, one strike. One ball, one strike, man on second and third. Good swing by Drew, swung through that one. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Saints leading 19 to nothing. 
big sweeping breaking ball. Nice job by the catcher blocking that ball. Drew took that one for ball two, I believe. Was that the first? Scoreboard says one and two. We'll just go with that. One ball, two strikes. Senior right-handed hitter, Drew Atkins. Sawed him off a little bit. High hopper to the second baseman. Carrasco's got it. Throws to first for the third out of the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors. Two men left on base through two and a half innings. Saints 19, Eagles 0. second base, he drag bunted to the pitcher's right, it was a sweet bunt, the pitcher got it and threw, and first baseman and Tate got there right at the same time, hell of a collision, Tate went flying, landed right on his head, so his, uh, his neck tightened up between innings, yeah, he, he stayed in the game, he ended up having a, a two-run single, two-run single in the fifth at Finally put us ahead. So when did, when did that, Mike, Michael told me all that for the brothers asking when you played on nephew. Here we go. Bottom of the third inning. Cooper Bird's going to lead things off for the Eagles. First at bat of the game. Tyler Harrington's in for his third inning of work. First pitch swinging hard fastball in on Bird's hands. Good pitch by Tyler. I love seeing that. Cole Bryan in pitching, I mean, uh, catching now. Second pitch. Foul off to the right. We got some defensive changes. Jack Newman's in at first base. Joshua Brown, I mean, uh, yeah, is, I believe, in left. He's in center. Strike three, fastball elevated it. Three pitches, one out. So that's Dylan James in left, Joshua Brown in center, and Cole Bryan is behind the dish. Good looking young catcher. So we're back up the top of the lineup. Luke Ellis is up. First pitch, fastball. Taken for strike one. Tyler continues to pump strikes. Another fastball. Had a little late uh, dive away from the left-handed hitting Ellis. Swung through it. No balls, two strikes. Ellis led off the game for the Eagles with a double that got over the head of Willard and left. Tyler bowed his neck, left him out there stranded. That was another, uh, another fastball that had some nice run on it with Tyler. That Definitely a two-seamer, the way that ball came out of his hand. One ball, two strikes. Ground ball right back to Tyler. Throws to first for the out. One unassisted. Good play right there by the gifted athlete Tyler Harrington. That's Tyler Bryan. I think I called him Cole. I'm pretty sure that's his daddy. Tyler Bryan, young catcher behind the dish. Coach uh, Hopkins has got a lot of young talent coming up for the Saints next year. I'm 
come out and watch as many games as I can. First pitch breaking ball to Joseph Gibson, the third baseman, now pitching, taken for ball one. We've got two outs in the bottom of the third inning here. Next pitch, fastball down, taken for ball two. Gibby had a couple hits in the first game, some good at-bats. Popped out to the shortstop, first at-bat here. He's swinging, 2-0. It's going to even the count, one ball and one strike. Third baseman, Joseph Gibson. Ooh, hello, chin music. Gibson did a good job getting out of the way of that one. Boy, that's one of those balls that uh, comes at you and makes your eyes big. Three balls, one strike. Let's see Tyler challenge him right here. Oh, threw another hard one up. Slow yourself down, Tyler. Ball four. So Gibson's on with two outs. Now batting number five, Kalen Culpepper. And that brings up Culpepper, the shortstop. Kalen had a nice game in game one. Home run, walk, and single. Drove in three. I'm going to look forward to watching, uh, tracking Kalen's career at Kansas State. Very impressive young man. First pitch, fastball to Kalen, taken for ball one. Tyler needs to just slow himself down a little bit, just find that zone. Two outs. There it is, right there. Take a little something off it, throw some strikes. One ball, one strike, two outs, bottom of the third inning. That's a base hit. Culpepper continues to hit. Really nice player. I've been impressed by Kalen uh, since he was very young. One of the top players in the Mid-South. Thought that was a base hit. Eagles have two men on. That no quitting these Eagles. Two outs. Get this last out, Ty. First pitch, fastball right in there. Good pitch right there. No balls, one strike. Fastball up, slow yourself down. He's speeding everything up. Tyler's at his best when he's kind of has that internal clock of lifting that front leg, good timing. There it is. There it is. Oh, that was a breaking ball. Taken for ball two. Foul ball right at home plate. Two balls, two strikes. Two two pitch coming. Two outs. Sawed him off, fouled it off, stayed alive. Count remains two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bottom of the third inning. Two two pitch. There it is. Nice job. He's out. First, first base is occupied. And we'll see uh, what the run rule is. I'm not quite sure. Is that is that ball game or not? I don't know. We have to keep playing. I guess so. So I wasn't sure of the run rule. I thought maybe it was 15 after three. Obviously, that's not the case because the Eagles have once again taken the field.
And here we go. Joshua Brown's going to get his first at bat. He is going to hit for Joshua Russell. First pitch taken for ball one. This is the top of the fourth inning. 1 0. Ball way out, taken for ball two. Josh has got three hits on the season. He's driven in four runs. He's scored 11 runs. This is uh, his the 15th game that Josh has appeared in. He'll be a staple in Coach Hop's lineup next season, tracking balls down in the outfield. He's got very good speed. Ground ball, first base. Taken by Ellis, he'll step on the bag. Three unassisted on the putout. And Gibson's got one out here. Top of the fourth inning. Now batting, number nine, Mitt Hardy. And that brings up Mick Arney. Mick has walked and scored. He's singled in the second inning and also walked. There's a base hit right back up the box. Mick continues his superlative hitting. Spins the cap of the pitcher Gibson. He's on the bag. There is no quitting Mick Arney, I tell you that. Now batting number three, Michael Dallas. And that's what makes Mick the special player that he is. He loves to play ball. And that brings up Michael Dallas. Michael granted the second. He's grounded to short twice, and he's been hit by a pitch. Scored a pair of runs. Good swing by Mike. Swung through that fastball. I like the aggressiveness. Gibson's on top. No balls and a strike. One out. Saints are leading 19-0. We're in the top of the fourth inning. Breaking ball. Strike two. Big sweeper. Started it at Michael's. Lead shoulder dropped in for a strike. No balls, two strikes, one out. Mick Arney on first. Just got a base hit. Good swing by Mike. Fouled that ball straight back. Count's going to remain. No balls, two strikes. Senior third baseman Michael Dallas. Whoa, breaking ball. Joseph left that one up. One ball, two strikes. Uh-oh. Michael may have got his first homer here. Nope. Oh, the left fielder actually had it. I thought he had a bead on it in left field, and the ball just tipped off his glove. I thought Michael hit it further than he actually did. It sounded really good off the bat. Hung up there a good while. Left fielder couldn't track it down. Now batting, number 13, Tyler Harrington. I'm going to call that a double. And that brings up senior pitcher Tyler Harrington. Tyler had an RBI double. He reached on an error by the shortstop. He had a, a single, and he's popped up to the second baseman. So he is two for four this game. Next pitch, ball outside. Tyler also had a base hit back in the first game, so he's had a, a three-hit day. Let's see if he can... Get number four here. 3 0. He'll be taking here. Oh, swinging 3 0. I don't think Coach Hop wanted him to do that. 3 1.
3-1 pitch. Tyler swinging again. Good hack right there. Fouled it back. That's going to take the count. Three balls and two strikes. Three two pitch coming. Outside, ball four. What is this? Can't find my roster. Tyler Bryan up the bat. Good-looking catcher. First pitch swinging. Tyler took a hack at that one. Swung through it. Fastball right in there. Strike two. Ooh, just missed. Good breaking ball right there. Gibson uh, shows a, a several different breaking balls. That one is that kind of drops down three quarters, starts it at the right-handed hitter's front shoulder, and really sweeps around the plate. Elevator to fastball right there. It's going to take the count to two balls and two strikes. To Tyler Bryan. Fastball, strike three. Got him on the corner. That was a good pitch. That brings up Jack Newman. Jack struck out back in the third inning. First pitch, fastball taken for ball one. Two outs. Look at that nice hit right there by Jack Newman. Going to score a pair. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Good hit by Jack. Two-run single with two outs. Smashed it right over Culpepper's head in that left center field gap. Good piece of hitting right there by Jack Newman. Very nice. Michael Dallas scores on the hit by Newman. Mick Arney scores on the hit by Newman. Tyler advances to second base. And that brings up Matthew Dallas is going to hit for Eli Smith. I think this is Matthew's first at bat of the year. Matthew is a very talented left-handed pitcher. Strike, strike two. Matthew, earlier this year, threw a no-hitter against this St. Benedict team. Pretty impressive. He sits 88-90 as a sophomore, folks. Uh-oh, you put a charge in one. Fly ball in the right field line, and that's a fair ball. So Dallas has got his first hit in high school. It is a perfectly placed single right down the right field line that fell between the second baseman, Carrasco, and the right fielder. That's an RBI hit. And the Saints played their third run. Newman's able to advance to third. Matthew Dallas gets a hit. And that brings up Dylan James. Dylan grounded back to, to the pitcher, his last at bat. And he's swinging again. Dylan took a hack at the first pitch, his first at bat, grounded back to the pitcher. Took a swing at that one. Good swing right there by Dylan again. He's up there taking barnyard hacks. I like what I'm seeing. No balls, two strikes, two outs.
junior right-handed hitter, Dylan James. Whoa, hello. That was a breaking ball way in. Dylan had the duck, got back to the screen. Baseball courtesy, where uh, we pump the brakes on allowing runners to score on wild pitches. One ball, two strikes. Ground ball. Going to be a tough play right here for Ellis. Got him. That's a good job. On a game like this with the score that's so lopsided, if it's close, uh, call it on out. So that was nice play by Ellis. Three to one on the putout. It's what they work on from the first day of spring training, that PFP pitcher fielding practice, and they executed nicely this late in the season. Saints plate three. They do so on three hits. We left two runners on base. And through three and a half innings, Saints 22, the Eagles 0. Eli Whittington, senior right-hander, is going to finish things out. Hopefully Eli can come on in and just fill the strike zone up with strikes. That's what we need, just a whole bunch of strikes here. First pitch, fastball away. He needs to take his time, pick up the target, and hit it. There we go. Good job, Eli. One ball, one strike. Good job, Eli. One ball, two strikes. I do not have a St. Benedict roster. I'd be giving you who this is. They didn't give me one. I think this is a freshman. Oh, Eli spikes a fastball right there. Two balls, two strikes. No changes on defense, except Matthew Dallas is now in right field. Nope, three balls, two strikes. No walks here, Eli Whittington. Here's where you can't have any walks. We're up by 22. Fill it up here. Good job. Fastball, strike three. One out. Whole bunch of that. Got another pinch hitter. One out, bottom of the fourth inning. Saints leading 22 to nothing. First pitch. Taken for a ball outside. Fastball in there for a strike. Nice job. So the Dallas family, uh, mom and dad, got to love this. They got their oldest son at third base. They got their young son out there in right field. Pretty cool. Cool. 
Swung through that fastball. One ball, two strikes. Fouled it off. Senior right-hander Eli Whittington. Whoa, way up. Tried to overthrow that one a little bit. This is Eli's fourth outing. This is his ninth innings inning pitched. Awesome young man is going to be going to be a student at Ole Miss. Fastball fouled off to the right. Very intelligent young man. He's going to be fantastic at whatever he decides to do. Really good personality, smart young man. Fastball away, three balls, two strikes. Fill it up. Got him. Fastball outside corner. Swung through it. Two outs. So we got two outs. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. Saints leading 22 nothing. We get one more out, and you could put this game in the books, and we're going to be heading to Nashville. Whoa, hello. Air mailed that one. One ball, no strikes. To an Eagles hitter. Fastball. Take it for ball two outside. Come on, Eli. Fill it up, buddy. Two balls, no strikes. Fastball up. Three balls, no strikes. Climb it up, 3-0. There it is. Oh, he's swinging 3-0. I love it. Three balls, no uh, one strike, two outs, bottom of the fourth. Good, good pitch outside corner. Three balls, two strikes. Ball some nice late movement by Eli. Ah, uh, spiked it. Ball four. So we got two outs, man on first base. And John Michael McGee, who pitched the first games, up the bat. Now batting number 28, John <clears throat> Michael McGee. Love to see Eli go 0-1 right here. There you go. Nice job, Eli. Nice and relaxed. Pump the strike outside corner. McGee swung through that one. We got two outs, bottom of the fourth. Whoa, he's got some bat waggle. Another one, strike two, good pitch by Eli. Finish this game right here. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Saints leading by 22. Swung, fouled it off. O2 pitch coming. Fouled it off. Staying alive. We got Dylan James out in left. We got Joshua Brown in center. Matthew Dallas out in right. There it is. Nice breaking ball. That was a good 12 6 hammer. Strike three. Now, was that it? And that's it. So. Didn't want to hex anything. The game's over. 22 zip is the final score in game two. 10 to four was the final score in game one. Saints win the region. We are heading to state. Not quite sure who we're going to match up with. I know Brentwood has advanced. They took a pair from the Christian Brothers Purple Wave today. 
So I know two of the teams is uh, are us and Brentwood. Not quite sure who the others are. And nice job by the Saints taking care of business. Those games in Nashville are going to be next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It's a double elimination tournament moving forward. So there'll be a winner's bracket and a loser's bracket. Nice win by the Saints. That's what they've done all year. They've risen to the occasion, thrown strikes, timely hitting, excellent defense, and another win. We are now 28-5 and five through our 33 games this spring. And we're heading to state. Season's not done yet. Got to tip your cap to the coaching staff and the players, but the job is not done. Enjoyed being out here with you all tonight. Enjoyed the game. And we'll see you next week. Saints out.